Hi there. If you've hit a snag in the process of wiring up the Elevation Window Actuator System, we're here to help. In this video, we'll troubleshoot some of the common issues you could come across and how to resolve them. First, we'll cover some common mistakes that can cause the keypad to display a no actuators found error message, or if the actuators are just not responding to an open signal from a wall switch or smart home system. Next, we'll cover some causes of the window obstructed error message on the keypad, or of faulty operation of the actuators during opening or calibration. Right, let's get started. If you're getting a no actuators found error message, or the actuators are failing to respond to an open command, one of the most common causes is the network cable. The network cable carries data communication signals between all the devices on the network, so you must use data cable with twisted pairs. CAT5 or CAT6 data cable works well. Cable that does not contain twisted pairs, such as alarm or power cable, will not work as the network needs a cable impedance of 120 ohms to communicate properly. The second issue you might find with the network cable is incorrect application of the terminating resistors. The elevation system uses bus communication, so you must have a terminating resistor installed on each end of the network cable. These are critical for completing the data circuit and enabling communication to flow through the network. If you've lost the resistors supplied with the system, any 120 ohm resistor from the electronics store will do the trick. Test the resistors R120 ohms before proceeding with the install. Anything else will not work. All devices on the elevation system tee off of the network cable between the two terminating resistors. These connections can be anywhere along the network cable except within one metre from the terminating resistors at each end. The main network cable can be up to 300 metres long. You can connect up to 30 devices to this main network cable. It's a good idea to plan your main network cable run so that the dropper cables to each device are as short as possible. Dropper cables that are too long will cause data corruption. Where a dropper cable connects an actuator or network adapter, it must be no more than two metres long. And where the dropper cable connects to a keypad, no more than one metre. If you have trouble getting the provided dropper cables to reach the network cable, simply loop the network cable closer to the device. The last common cabling issue is the keypad cable. Make sure you've used the one metre keypad cable provided and kept the end with the ferrite ring intact the easiest way to access the coloured wires in the keypad cable is to cut and strip the cable. But if you've wired up your own female connector or tried to use your own keypad cable, you must use B-type wiring for the connectors or, again, your network communication will fail. Now that we've covered common communication error causes, we'll move on to what can cause a window obstructed error to appear on the keypad. Or, if you're using a wall switch or smart home system instead of a keypad, you may find the actuators start to move but stop short of full stroke and won't complete the initial calibration sequence. Basically, this error means the motor is struggling to open or close the window. So the first thing to do is check for obstructions. If there are no obstructions, check the windows are using non-friction stays. It could also be that the window is too short for the chain stroke. If the window sash is shorter than 500 millimeters, then the actuator must be installed using the pivot brackets. If the window sash is shorter than 400 millimeters, then you must use the pivot brackets and also restrict the stroke of the chain to 200 millimeters. See steps six, seven, and eight in the install instructions for details on restricting the actuator chain stroke or check with the installer if this has been done. If the window sash is shorter than 300 millimeters, there is no guarantee the actuator will work, but it might if you restrict the chain even further. Lastly, if you're experiencing a window obstructed error and you have two actuators connected to the same window sash, make sure that only one of the two actuators is connected onto the network cable and you have a synchronization cable connecting the two actuators. This will ensure both actuators travel at the same speed and do not twist the sash. So there you have it, the key pitfalls with wiring the elevation system. And hopefully this has helped you to resolve any issues you were having. 
If you want to know more about Elevation, check out the next video on Features. Or you can find out more in the instructions and manuals available for download on our website. Cheers!